university, you need uh, students, you need faculty, and you need a curriculum. Um, the buildings were important too, but frankly they came later. Uh, and so it was very exciting. I'd had some experience working on the McGill campus out at UBC, which became University of British Columbia, and uh, came here. Alberta was very keen to be one of the first Western provinces with its own university. Um, finding students was tricky enough in a province that was the smallest in population of any of the Western provinces, but um, we got students from the local high schools, both Edmonton and Strathcona did their final year at the university. We got um, students from wherever we could, and within just a, around six years, we had students from Scotland, the United Kingdom, uh, you know, the other bits of it, uh, the United States, multiple states, all provinces across Canada. Um, the faculty, it was really important. We got four excellent faculty from wonderful schools. Uh, I remember Dr. Broadus telling me, um, some man shows up from a university that doesn't exist in a province I've never heard of, in a country I've never visited, and asks me if I want to take up the English chair. And he came here, and he was a wonderful <laughs> professor. So, uh, 